Casella Vela Beach Day. Yeah. So this is where the um, beginning of the Rio Formosa Natural Preserve starts. Which is the largest preserve in Portugal. The sweet little village of Old Casella Vela, Vela means old, is small enough that you can walk around it in about 10 minutes. It's a great stop along the Algarve to grab a snack, see some stunning views of the old fortress perched above its unique beach, which is covered in baby sand dunes, little tide pools, and river which change with the tides. The main things to do and to see in this town are to visit the church and to take a look at the old fortress. The fort is newer and it's built over an older fort which was damaged in the big earthquake of 1755 by a tsunami. You can't go inside as the GNR, the name of our national police, uses it today, but it makes a stunning backdrop on the hill overlooking the start of the Rio Formosa preserves. This is Casella Vela Beach. Super cool. We're gonna go on a little hike through a sandbar. This is the church. This sweet little church in the center of town is also newer as it was damaged in the same earthquake as the fort. Enjoy a nice leisurely stroll around town and then head down to the preserves. There is a path near the dirt parking lot when you first enter town, but that can be a little tricky. So maybe you wanna do what I like to do and that's First, stroll through the town for a quick look at the fort and the church, and then head down the steps and graded path right along the side of the fort. Just follow the inside wall of the fort and the little fence, and you'll be on the path. There are some cute houses to your left and a small street to explore later, but turn to the right here and you'll head straight to the beach. So if the fort is on your right and the ocean straight in front of you, you know you're probably on the right path. Now, when we got there, we got there about nine in the morning, which is a good time. That's considered early here. This was during the lower tides and the rivers were easy enough to cross. And it was also super easy to park. We got a parking spot at the top of the hill in the paved section. Now parking is free and there's a fairly large dirt lot next to the town, but you'll be in the dirt and maybe even on the road if you arrive past 10 or 11 a.m. So be warned. Because we went early, we nailed the tides. The parking was easy, and there were only a few people wandering through the small village when we wandered through. Now, since we were early, the cafe and the restaurant were closed, and there are no bathroom facilities here outside of the restaurants when they're open. So be warned. Bring your own drinks and snacks before you get to town. Bring water for the little hike down the hill and, and through the preserves. And hey, all you entrepreneurs out there, here's a good little business plan to open a little snack shop, which is open with extended hours and paid bathrooms. I think you can make a fortune. It's hidden and off the main roads, so you'll need to pop it into your GPS to find it easily. The small roads in and out pass along charming fields of olives and small farms. So keep your eyes open and enjoy the ride. Just cross this other river. That was that was a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a workout. A bit good workout. Good way to start the day. Nice, cool, refreshing workout. To get from the fort down to a good beach spot, which there's plenty to pick from, you'll be crossing through a couple little rivers. And depending on the time of the day that you cross, you might be over your head quite literally and need to get a boat. So kind of time it that you're crossing in and out during low tides or plan on bringing some cash and trying to flag down one of the little taxi boats. 
There's tons of shells oh, throughout the whole Algarve. I always find these beautiful, beautiful shells. Um, and it just seems like there'll be little patches where hundreds of them wash up in one area. But pretty much everywhere you walk, you'll find these big, gorgeous, beautiful shells. Every color, every shape, every size. I'm still stunned by it every time I go to the beach. And I've been here a few years now. So if your thing is collecting shells, you will enjoy this here. shell in the shape of a heart. How cool is that? Maybe because I love Casella Vella and it's cool beaches. Cool little heart. Oh, and further up the beach is um, a pottery, well, the ruins of a pottery factory. This used to be called Factory Beach. When you look around, it doesn't look anything like a factory. But you can go down to the end of the beach and check out the old pottery factory. I hope you've enjoyed this little video of the little town of Casella Bella and the Ria Formosa. If you've enjoyed this video, you can stay tuned for a few outtakes, a few more pictures, a few more videos, and just me being goofy, your traveling queen. Yes, this is the beach of Casella Vela. And then we cross the little babbling brook. There's the babbling brook. And then some sand paths. Ruins. Did you know we do my video? <laughs> Hola, Casella Vela. Casella Vela, beach day. Yes, say hi, Tijin. Hola. <laughs>